Hey, it's Aaron from GameEnthus.com, and today I'm taking a look at a game called Aroma, a game of essence. If you don't believe me, it says Aroma right there. See, it says Aroma there. This, you know, you're flanked and surrounded all, all with Aroma. If you look very carefully, you can see little indentations in the box. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Aroma is a game with an olfactory focus from two to four players, which can take anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes depending on the type of game you're playing. The game contains four different modes of play. Aroma was produced by Organic Aromas. The game design and the art are from Odd Hackwelder from Hacko Games. Unlike every other game that I've ever made content for, Aroma is the only game that comes with 20 small vials of essential oils. Needless to say, the components are sort of in a league of their own. So, but this is the box. Yes, it does say aroma all around it. It even says aroma on the back. But what's more important is what's inside the box. So in the box, you're gonna have your 20 different scents in certain categories. So the scents are grouped by plants, trees, floral, and citrus. There's also gonna be four tokens that list the 20 different types of scents. And there really are 20 of them. I just flipped over two so you could see, but they all have their respective icons on them, but they all list the exact same scents, the 20 here in the four different uh, scent trays. There's also gonna be 80 different scent tokens, which are all gonna be the same. The only difference being the back of the tokens. These are the scent tokens for plants, but they contain the exact same scents listed on each one of these tokens and in everybody else's different set of scent tokens. Like I said, the only difference is it's gonna be the back, so you know which one is for which player. I said token a whole lot. On the back of the player boards are also going to be a list of all the scents along with the icon for whose board this is. This is the board for the plant player, so that's why you have the plant icon there and all the various scents from everybody else, but their scents here. You're also gonna have five of each different color cube for the various groupings of scents and a small tray with which to put it in. I should also mention that this is a prototype. It's also a first player marker, which also bears the logo for Aroma. And then there's these scent sticks with which to rub on the various scents. I did not believe you were supposed to put these on your skin. So I, the idea is to just smell it or rub the stick on the end of it in order to pick up the scent so you can identify what it is. All of the vials have numbers on the bottom. This says number two. It does not matter that it says it's in the first place. All of the scent trays have one through five. That does not correspond to the actual number that is on the bottom of them. So number two is Clary Sage. And I would have guessed that, but I didn't want to show off, so I didn't do it. And then last but certainly not least, you have these nice wooden tokens in the shape of the various groupings of scented oils. And I don't know if I showed you the back of the other one, but they all have uh, a slightly different back with just their logo on it. And using these components, there are four different types of game modes you can play in Aroma. I'll briefly describe each of them. Each of the four games normally requires a short mini game in order to determine who goes first. So for this first game called Discover, the first player is determined by players picking up their scent tokens and from an equidistant level, dropping them onto the center of the board. Whoever ultimately has the most of their scent cubes in the center, I guess closest to the center, would go first. So let's say purple floral will go first. All of these scents are going to be randomized and then everybody's going to populate their trays with five scents. Uh, the first person to go would be purple. Keeping in mind, you would not look at the bottom of the scent because that would tell you what it is. So don't do that. So the purple player would pick one of their scents. Keep in mind, they've been randomized and they would smell it. You can't see my nose, but I assure you, I smelled it. They would smell it and then it would say, just for example, uh, let's say for example, the purple player challenged the yellow player player said this is tea tree they smelled it they challenge the yellow player without actually smelling the oil the yellow player has to 
say they agree or they disagree. If the yellow player agrees and it turns out that the purple player was correct, the yellow player would move up on their tracker. As you can see here, there's different spots to get to the center. Getting to the center is how you win or having all of your groupings or having all of your sense identified first, which you could win without actually doing anything, which I'm okay with. Okay, scenario two, the yellow player's challenge, they say they agree, but the purple player was incorrect. That means that the purple player gets a point. If the yellow player said that they disagree with the purple player and they're correct, they get a choice. They can either earn a point by just, they were right, or they can try to identify that smell. And if they're correct in identifying it themselves, they get two points. And so if yellow says it disagree with purple and they're wrong, purple gets a point. Now I said play would just continue going clockwise and how you would win is you'd win by getting to the center first or having all of your groups sense identified by you or anyone else. That is discover. As I mentioned before, each mode has a short mini game to determine who goes first. So for survive, whoever identifies all of the randomized oils in their tray will go first. Before everything starts, all the oils will be put into the center, mixed around, and then everybody would get five to populate their trays. In tandem, everybody would be picking up their oils, looking at the number, keeping it to themselves, uh, looking at their card to determine what it is. 17 is frankincense. It's Christmas time. Frankincense. There's no myrrh though. At least I don't think so. Is there gold? Anyway, so 17 is frankincense. So I would see what that was. And then I would look through my various tokens, identify frankincense without showing other players, and then just put it down in front of the vial. And whoever did that for all five of theirs first will be the first player in survive. Given that I did not put out the uh, aroma tokens for every player, I'm gonna have green go first. So let's say green went first and put their token in front of one of purple's scents. Having already identified what it is or re-identifying what it is, purple would then hand the scent to green who would smell it and then attempt to guess what scent it is. If the green player guesses what it is correctly, that particular oil is set aside out of play. Purple would give up the aroma token for that oil and then purple would go next. Whoever the attack player is goes next. And the purple could choose either yellow or red to attack. And by attack, I mean smell the, their sense. And survive is just that, it's surviving. Whoever has, whoever's the last player to have sense that have not been guessed, wins. If green was incorrect, it would not be identified and play would just continue. Thus, purple would still have five different scents. So that is survive. This game mode is called revolve. The first player is determined by everyone stacking their cubes. And when it inevitably falls, the color that is on top, that individual would be the first player. And because I can control this and I wanted to start off with yellow. Look at that. Yellow goes first. The first player is the first player to pick a scent. So all of the oils would be off to the side and whoever just won the stacking of the cubes would pick a scent first and then it would just go left. And once everybody had, once everybody uh, has completely uh, populated their, their, uh, their aroma tray, then the game will begin. So in Revolve, every player is gonna pick up one of their oils. They're gonna smell it. They're gonna identify what it is. And let's say this is three. So three is rosemary. Every player would find the scent that they just identified within their tray of tokens, and then they would put it down. Then each player would take that same oil and pass it to the player on their left, who would also smell it, not identify it. Uh, then each player would pass the scent to the player on their left without identifying it. They would take that scent, smell it, and guess as to what it is. So eventually each player would have a series of guesses in front of them, starting off with the one that they identified and then, then the player to their most right going in 
reverse order. If that makes sense. Once everybody got their oil back, it would go back into their tray. And the starting probably with the first player, everybody would identify what it is. So the first player would say, hey, it was Rosemary. And then every other player would reveal what the corresponding guess was. And if they are correct, they get a point. If they are not correct, they get nothing. So that is Revolve. So the final game mode is called Collect, where players are going to be attempting to collect their player board's group of scents. If I was a green player, I would try to collect all of the plant scents. So tea tree, majorum, rosemary, eucalyptus, and peppermint. In order to determine who goes first, you place a box top in the center, in the center space, and players would be tossing their wooden pieces. Wow, that's just disrespectful. To see who can get to the center or most center. I mean, once again, the, the level of disrespect. Wow. Maybe they do it one by one without affecting each other. I don't know. Anyway, whoever is closest to the center will go first. So after the first player has been identified, let's say it's the green player, the box top would get removed. And the first player, let's say it's the green player, would then pick any other player's oil to populate their empty tray. And that would go around clockwise until all the trays were fully populated with oil. Maybe to demonstrate. So ultimately each player has a fully populated tray of scents and none of the ones in front of you should be your own. So green player will go first. They would take a scent from any other player, pick it up, smell it, and then they would attempt to guess what it is and guesses incorrectly of what it is. It goes on to the red player. However, if the green player guesses what it is, is correct and it belongs to them, they would place it behind their tray and then it's the red player's turn. If the green player smells it, guesses what it is uh, correctly, but it's not theirs, meaning it doesn't belong in their player board's group, it would just go back. So play basically continues until players either guess one that does belong to them or they guess incorrectly. If you keep guessing correctly, but it doesn't belong to you, you can keep picking sense until you either guess incorrectly or you find one that belongs to you and then you keep it and the next player goes. You might be asking yourself, well, couldn't other players just watch where those scents get put in other people's trays? Eh, you can switch around the oils in your tray as long as you don't do it while someone is guessing. Ultimately, the player that collects all of their own scents first is the winner. So those are the four different game modes you can play in Aroma. And I have to say, I don't have any game like this on my shelf. I have a lot of games on my shelf. I haven't played anything quite like this. I don't think I have any olfactory games at all, to be honest with you, but I know there are others. But the fact that this game comes with 20 small vials of scents is just kind of, it's kind of amazing. You know, uh, is it, this is a prototype, but the component quality is really nice. Really looks good on the table, smells good. It's something different. And you know, I brought this to the table. My family and I played it. We really enjoyed it. I think our two favorite modes were collect and revolve, but they're all different. The fact that you have four different things you can set up here is really unique and something I definitely think is worth checking out. In a world with the uniqueness of aroma, nothing else makes sense. I'm, I'm saying a lot of things today. Anyway, aroma is on Kickstarter. If this looks like it's of interest to you, I suggest you go there and support it as I won't be on Kickstarter for very long. And that's going to do it for me. Take care, wear a mask, like, subscribe, be blessed.